Hello ladies and gentlemen, as I'm playing my guitar here, my name's Jimmy Long, Jimmy Willy Long if you want to be precise, and I finally got out of jail, I moved from the other to the court, moved down here, and I think I should be away from him, so I'm just going to have some fun and I'm going to sing my song, so yeah, let's sing it. That's all the motherfucker is, man. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on my car. I feel like I'm in peace and quiet. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm in the middle of nowhere because the road's literally like right down there, but I mean... Nah, I don't think there's no way he... I mean, I don't even think that trailer's for sale or for rent. I think someone lives in there already. Or they're doing work on it or something. A few moments later... Damn, this fucking neighbor. Fucking revving his fucking engine, man. <laughs> eh, I'm not, I'm not gonna really complain, because I used to do stuff like that. And he's doing burnouts over there? <clears throat> yeah. I'm just gonna mind my own business. I, I did stupid stuff like that, and... I'm not trying to go to jail. If he wants to go to jail, that's on that guy's mind. It's gonna work on my car. Change this, change these belts. I need to add this turbo. Meanwhile, didn't gas all people left too, but we still got a lot of people on. It's him up here. I don't know, working on his car over there. I wonder if he needs some help. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's working on. But... You just need to put the slide this belt over. And then I need to tighten this bolt, and then I need to go grab my turbo. I'm gonna stall my turbo today. I 
I'm yeah, surprised the new neighbor hasn't came over and said hi to me. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude. He could be busy, so I'll let him say hi on his own time, I guess. You mean should have said hi, just to at least be courteous. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's go on over there. Hey, man, how's it going? Yeah. Oh, shit, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up? My name is Gene. Oh, wait a minute. No. No. Hold on. No, Gene Davis. Jimmy Long. What, what are you doing here? Uh... You I'm said you this. you told the cops when we left the jail cell that you were moving to a different trailer court. I'm tired of this, Jimmy. I'm tired of this, man. Did you call the cops already? Hey, man, this guy's bothering me. He's already. Right, what's going on here? This guy's bothering me. This drunk guy comes doing burnouts with his truck in his driveway. He he almost hit his trailer, and he's coming over here bothering me. While and we have many problems in the past in different many states. This guy's following Not me, man. True. He's, Not even he's true. He's he's following me. Two three eight. No, it's true. Right, so, dude, I literally just pulled up and I. Can you tell him to walk away so I can talk to you? Myself. Can you tell him to walk away so I can talk to you? All right, hey boss, can you go over to your truck real quick? Don't get in there or anything. Just go over there so we can talk. All right. So what's going on? So I recently, I mean, I've been to Wisconsin, yeah, one call already ready. Indiana, a bunch of other places. Up. This motherfucker kept following me. We've been to jail many times. He's he's a neighbor that I don't know how he keeps moving next to me or any new house I buy that he's my neighbor. But he's usually my neighbor. He's always drunk, causing problems, trying you know to blow up my cars, and. He's, he's, he's always trying to cause problems to me. So he came back, he was drunk, and he was drifting his truck. And see, now he's leaving because he knows that he's in the wrong. <laughs> Alright, so what you're saying is he's basically stalking you. Yeah, he's stalking me, and he came back and he was drinking. He had like two yeah, or three bears, and he's driving? Hey, Lyle, um, the guy just took off that way on the <laughs> bike. Um, he, this guy said he's been drinking. It's a he said, she said story at this point. No. Nope. Well, I'm not gonna argue that. The thing. <laughs> I can't chase it. That's fair. Alright, so you're basically saying this guy's a stalker? He's been following me everywhere, then he came back, he said hi to me. I mean, I called the cops as soon as I showed him. I, at first, I didn't know who he was, but the, the truck showed up. In a way, it, I would have just all of a sudden started walking over towards you, and then... Boom. Fucking cop shows. I, I call the cops because you're doing burnouts and revving your engine. Are you taking a selfie? But yeah, like he was revving his engine and stuff when he pulled up. I didn't know who it was. He started doing burnouts and then I was working on my car. He came over and then as soon as I heard his voice, I said, no way. And he, I don't know how he found me again. I decided to move in the middle of nowhere in this trailer. And then yet he, 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 he's my new neighbor. It makes no what, sense. Day after 50? Do you have his name? His name is Gene Davis. Oh, that thing. Gene Davis? G-E-N-E -E and then Davis. D-A-V-I-S. Alright. And what's your name, sir? Jimmy Long. Jimmy Long. Alright, man. Alright, and... Right now, there's really nothing we can really do. Because he's not here anymore. No, well, he left because he probably knew he was going to get trumped up with the charge. Because, I, I mean, he was drunk when he showed up. And he was drinking more right. beers. And then he got on his bike and left. What bike was it? Right. I don't know. It was, I never seen the bike before. It was new. And he must have got it. I know it was like black or something. It looked like a yeah, Harley. It looked like a, like a Harley Street Glider. Like a bagger. Yeah, it had bags in there. Did you get a point off it? No. 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 I, I never... It I was sitting over there and I was talking to this guy. I never even seen that bike before. So he must have got it. And then when he heard that, I was snitching him out for the stupid shit that he was doing. Uh, he took off. What we're gonna have to do. So if he comes back, call us again and we'll get here. Um, but right now we can't really do anything. Alrighty. I just figured I'd let you know that he was bothering me and stuff, and now you got to go look for a drunk driver. Yeah, no, of course, man. But if he but if he comes back, just give us a call, right? Yeah, for sure, man. Alright, you be safe. Alright. So they were leaving. It's a he said she said story. There's nothing they could do about it. As soon as you start burning, doing burnouts and shit, I was like, he's called the cops on me for that before. 
And I was like, I'm calling the cops on him for fucking burning his fucking engine and shit. And I basically told him that's what you did. And then I said I saw him drinking some beers. And he probably took off because he knew he was going to get in trouble. And they said at this moment we'll keep an eye out for him. But there's really not much we could do. It's a, basically, um, from what the other cop said, it's a he said, she said story. I said that you were drunk, apparently, because I saw you drinking, and you took off on a car or a bike, but I said you took off because you knew I was snitching on you, because you knew you did some shit that you should have never have done, and you were afraid to get talked to, and you took off, and the cop's like, huh, and he's like, well, I still really can't do much, he was like, because he left, and I was like, yeah, and I was like, and he was drunk, he, I mean, I physically saw that guy drinking before he got on that bike, I was literally... What? Fucking beer. <laughs> yeah, well, Bugs called on Jeff for one beer, and then when the cops came, Jeff said, one fucking IPA. I only had one IPA today. And then he was like, maybe at this moment now, too. He was like, no, I'm not drunk. And you could have played that off that you weren't drunk, but you, you just took off. As soon as you took off, I told the guy, I said, hey, he took off because he knew that he did something wrong. I was like, you know what? The motherfucker he called 911 on me for revving my engine before and saying I was being loud. And that's basically what the 911 call was. I said, neighbors revving his engine, being loud, and I just want the cops to come and tell him to quiet it down. Because mm. at the time when I called the cops, I didn't know it was uh, Gene Davis. I just wanted the, whoever the neighbor was to well, be quiet, calm it down. And I, I, I kind of told the cop, I was like, I, I was reckless at one point and did stupid shit like he's doing, but I was like, I've been to jail many times to learn that maybe sometimes you, you just need to comprehend with your neighbor. But I was like, but then I found out who it was. I don't want to comprehend with anyone because I feel like the guy's fucking stalking me. He's like, what do you mean stalking me? I was like, well, I met him in L.A. at a trailer park that I used to live in, down like on the other side of the highway. And then I moved after a while from Wisconsin to North Georgia to Indiana, and the motherfucker kept on following me, but then he said I was fucking following him, and I said it just made, it made no sense, every place I went to, or every place that he went to, that he claimed, I was his neighbor, he was my neighbor, and he's like, so he's stalking you, and I was like, yeah, he's stalking me, and then, and then one cop said, well, there's really not much we could do, we'll keep an eye out for him, he said, what is his name, I said, Gene Davis, he said, he said, what's your name, I said, Jimmy Long, he's like, alright, he's like, well, there's not much we could do, but he was like, he was like, well, he was like, just, well, if he comes back, call us and let us know. And I was like, for sure, I will. And I was like, and I was like, you better go find him because you might not make it back. He's drunk. <clears throat> Even though you had one bear, but, I mean, I'm just trying to throw you under the bus. Just like you would try to throw me under the bus. Oh, shit, he's back. Fuck, <clears throat> fuck, ass neighbor. Fuck, cops on me, motherfucker. Yeah, good piece of shit. You can suck on my pig. Suck on my prick. Fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. Suck on my prick. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my then they didn't work, so then he had enough. Got rid of them, and then he had a hatchback. If I was you, yeah, shit, I'd take the shit back. Fuck my neighbor, oh yeah. Fuck my neighbor, fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. He can suck out my prick. Fuck my neighbor, he's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor, he's a suck on my prick. Fuck my neighbor, fuck my neighbor, he's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor, fuck my neighbor, he's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor, fuck my neighbor, he's a piece of shit. 
fuck my neighbor. Yeah, fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. Yeah, fuck you, G. Fuck you, you. Fuck my neighbor. Yeah, you try to kill me. You try. Fuck my neighbor. Fuck my neighbor, yeah. Fuck you, G. Fuck you, dude. Fuck my neighbor. Suck on my prick. Suck on it. Fuck my neighbor. Piece of shit. Real piece of shit. Yeah. Give me long. I'm glitching so hard. Damn. I can't get out of the fucking phony mode. Fuck you, dude. There we go. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. That song goes up to you, you fucking felon. Fucking drunk. Man, fuck you. You should call the cops on me saying I was being allowed playing my guitar. And then I'm gonna go work on my car, and then when they come, I'm gonna play it off like what guitar? It's in the house. And then they'll come, and if like, yeah, yeah, Gene said you were playing the guitar, being loud. By the way, no CCT cameras. We're not doing that no more. Right. Nope. So that way if they mention that car too, I'll be like, no, I don't know what he's talking about, no. And if they ask you for a CCTV, I'll be like, I don't got gamers, man. You could tell them that my fucking tow company in Indiana got burnt down. I'm basically starting back from square one and I'm fucking broke again. Can't afford that shit. And I think he was the one that burnt it down in Indiana. But I got no proof. Oops. Fucking call the cops. Probably gonna have to start with looking sometime this week, find a new fucking place. I'm not gonna stay here. I'm gonna tell the landlord, like, I told them the exact name not to let me my neighbor. And yet, who the fuck is my neighbor? I bet you he's probably gonna call the cops on me for playing my fucking guitar. Like, yeah, he's being loud. Good thing my guitar is in the house. I ain't gonna fucking find it. I'm gonna tell him I don't know what the cop's talk. I don't know what he's talking about. He's fucking drunk. Fucking drunk motherfucker. Eat shit. Fuck me. Okay. Like that fucking. Yeah, but we gotta make sure, like, we keep it how Bugs and Jeff did. It's always a he said, she said, no evidence. But when we do get someone sent to jail, then we can sit there and gloat. Like, yeah, cuff him. Send him to jail. Right. And it'll be some bullshit if they come and you say that I broke your windows and whatnot, and then they sit there and 
say it. You broke his windows? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I didn't touch his fucking windows. I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna like, I don't got no weapons on me. All I got is some food that I brought him from outside. So when they work in my car, I could drink some water and eat some snacks, you know. And then I'm gonna tell him, like, check, check my fist. I don't got no bruises. I'm like, you could swab that fucking truck for fucking fingerprints. My fingerprints are not on that fucking truck. I'm gonna tell him. Because if they say that, I'm gonna be like, no. That's a he said, she said. I didn't do that. I can call you and say that motherfucker's selling drugs right now, but doesn't mean that he's selling drugs. That could just be me saying that because I want him to go to jail because I don't like him. Some bitch threw a fucking baseball at my windshield. <laughs> Fucker. Nah, you should RP that it was like a, 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 a snowball ice. That way it's melted. And I'm like, see, he's, he's got to be drunk. Sitting there saying I got a fucking block of ice of like a snowball. Where the fuck am I gonna get that in LA? It's too fucking hot out here. He he must be on fucking drugs. I'm like, you should fucking give him a drug test. Fuck <laughs> oh, man. Fuck are these cops? Damn. But then again, out of all these people that are on, which, oh, oh, speaking of, oh. Yep, he's gone for an additional already. What's going on? Nothing much. I've been here working on my car. I've been hearing, like, a lot of commotion over there, like, things breaking and stuff. Did you call 911? Yep. The other? I yeah, called, okay. yeah, I to, you told me to call when he comes back. And he came back right. and it seemed like he was hitting his car and his window shattered or something over there. And I was like, damn, what the fuck's wrong with his problem? I think he's got, right. I think he's got life problems going on. Alright, sounds good. Let me go over and talk to the other officer and we'll get it tried setting out. Alright, man. <laughs> I'm gonna my guitar got burnt down in the house fire back in Indiana. I don't know if I could burn my house down. Felon, fucking over there, probably trying to snitch at me. And another one. Fucking neighbors, man.
What's Mr. going on? with the California Highway Patrol. I'm coming to see what's going on tonight. Alright, yeah. Well, what's going on is I called earlier because I was sitting here. I just moved into this trailer uh, uh, after getting out of jail. I was in jail in Indiana. I came back here to L.A. I was trying to get away from that guy over there because from L.A., well, back in the Ventura days when I lived in a different trailer park out here, he's followed mm -hmm. me from Wisconsin he's Sorry. followed me to Indiana he's followed me to North Georgia he keeps following me and then I come here at first I didn't know who that guy was and then I saw him show up he was doing burnouts donuts he almost hit his trailer and then he takes off and then when he came back I was working on my car all of a sudden I start hearing like windows shatter over there I hear a lot of banging and I'm minding my own business because I don't want to go to jail I don't want to deal with him and then I was told when he comes back to call the cops and I called the cops when he came back What is he saying about me? Alright. Um, let's see here. He said that you threw a baseball bat through his windshield. Nope, I don't. I had a baseball I, through his windshield. I don't, I don't even play baseball or own a baseball. So, what you're saying is he smashed a bunch of your windows. Well, he smashed his windows, not my windows. He smashed his windows and then he's trying to blame it on you. Yeah, as I said, I was over here working on my car when he showed back up and you told me to call the cops when he came back. And as soon as he came back, I seen him park up his bike. But then as I'm working on my car, I kept on hearing like a bunch of ding, ding. And I heard like glass shatter. I'm like, and I wasn't going to go over there because I don't want to deal with the guy. I called the cops. I'm just trying to stay away from him. I don't want to go to jail. And then <clears throat> you guys came and this is the first I'm hearing about me shattering glass. I didn't shatter no glass. I got you. You got any cameras or anything that would collaborate with that story? No, I don't. I don't got. I just moved you don't in. Got any cameras? No. Okay. And I don't think he does either because in Indiana so he owned a tow company, but apparently his tow business got burnt down. And I saw he was on there crying with his buddy Christopher Carter. They were crying on there, and then I just I was like, well, oh, I'm leaving Indiana. None of my oh. business. It sucks for him, but but I move out here, and then what do you know? This guy fucking followed me from Indiana, and now he's my new neighbor again. He's always my neighbor when I move. It makes no sense. Gotcha. Did you guys live over there by Ace Liquor a little bit ago? Yeah, we we lived by Ace Liquor before. Yep, and I think his dad. I think my dad so fought him. They were they were they had their fist up whatnot, and my dad was gonna fight him or whatnot, and then I guess they both went to jail that night. Is it like a Hatfield McCoy kind of thing? Yeah, yep. fuck you, dude. That sounds like to me. You get what you like deserve, motherfucker. And now he's What's over your name, partner. I'm I'm Jimmy Long, and look at that. He's over there <laughs> flicking me off. It's Long versus David. Yeah, it it's it, about yeah. right. Long versus Davis. Yeah, it's the new. It's the. <laughs> maybe the one day they'll do a dinner feed. show about you guys or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He said one day maybe they'll okay. do a dinner show about us. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, <laughs> we're saying some shit about Jerry Springer, bro. He had me dying. So you don't own any. I don't own no baseballs. That's the owner too. I mean, I really own not much to be honest with you. I just moved in. Like I when I, I let when I came out when I lived in Indiana. He burnt my house down, so I'm basically, I've got nothing in my car. This is new to me because he burnt my other car down. An insurance company gave me money to get a car, and it's not one of the cars I would like. I like muscle cars, but it's the only one I could fucking afford. And, and I moved to Indiana thinking, I, I mean, away from Indiana, thinking I'm going to get away from this guy. And then yet, hours go by as I'm moving my stuff in, and then I'm fully packed in. I start oh, I working on my car, now. and then he shows up. Where the up. fuck was that at? Yeah, see, I, yeah, I told you. Alrighty, I'm gonna go uh, talk okay. to the gentleman, um, and I'll be back with you momentarily, okay? Alrighty, man. Alrighty. Coming to talk to you. Right. Yeah, but as I said, I've been hearing that train horn for a while. I'm like, there's a train? Basically, I'm hearing them talk right now. They're basically saying without CCTV, as a he said, she said situation, it is. Cause they had, they asked me to like, do you got any video cameras showing that you didn't break his car? And I said no. I just heard glass shattering over there and dinging.
fucking felon. Try to say I broke his car. <laughs> oh great. Oh what? You're walking away. Uh oh. I mean, as far as I know, oh. what they told me, it's a he said, she said. And basically, there's nothing they could do. And then after I said that, they oh, made the. Uh -huh. They want to dust it for prints? Oh, hold on. Yep, my prints ain't on there. Nothing better for come back to fucking me. I never touched it. No, uh, I'm gonna I'm put. <laughs> he said, I'm going to come ride with you over the weekend. He was like, when I'm off, and he was like, I'm off duty, I'm going to come knock on your door and be like, hey, we're going to we're gonna come ride. But, like, in that, what do you mean, ride? Oh, because he sees I have my Harley over here. For oh, Gene. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was, he okay. Was like, yeah, they, he was like, uh, he put slash ME collects bat and ball. I was like, I don't know where you saw a bat at, but I was like, there's just a baseball in there, bud. He was like, oh, my bad, my bad. He was like, are you for real? I was like, yeah, there's only a baseball in there, bud. He was like, well, yeah, we yeah. Are, he was like, we are wearing sunglasses at night, so uh, he, he's like, we're he, blind. Yeah, he literally told me when he came up to me, he was like, so, he was like, your, he was like, your neighbor said you threw a baseball through his window and a baseball <laughs> at his truck. And I said, I don't own a, I literally said, I don't own a baseball or a baseball bat, and I don't like baseball, yeah, that shit's yeah, stupid. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, same here. I told them, I said, man, and they were like, you look like a baseball fan. I said, I don't like baseball, I like football. Yeah, uh, I, uh, OC baseball doesn't come back to any day. No, you were probably wearing gloves when you did that. Cause they asked me, they're like, "Is he trying? To, is did he?" He's like, "At first, they said they broke. You broke my windows." I said, "My windows ain't broke." And then they said, "No, his truck." So he broke his windows. Then I was like, "Yeah, I was working on." Like, oh man, what the fuck. But I was like, "Yeah, man, I was working on my car." He came back, and I was told by the cops when he comes back, no matter when I see him come back, is to call the cops. And whether you made the nine one one call first or I made it, I basically said Gene Davis is back, and I put the postcode. All right, partner. If you want to walk over with me, we're yeah. having a conversation. Walk around with my truck. All right, man. Uh oh. Alrighty. Hang on. Come over here so you're not flashing in the face. All right, man. I'm a flat. I'm a light. Uh oh. All right, gentlemen. I don't have to stand next to each other, or love on each other, but we had to be close. Y'all can hear this. <laughs> So, it's our decision that there's nothing that we can do about the windshield, unfortunately. But, if y'all cannot coincide, one of you gentlemen is going to have to get a restraining order against the other one. I, 
I volunteer to put one on him. I volunteer to put one on him, but I also want to note we've done that in many different states, and he's always found a way to fucking find me. No, you've always found a fucking way to find me, motherfucker. No, that's you, man. No, that's you. All right, Mr. Long, Mr. Davis, please, please, calm down. So I'm trying to listen, be calm. We're trying to. Everybody gotta be calm, you know. I mean, I, I know it's hard to live next to the people that you don't dislike. Yeah, after many but, times uh, I moved, and for some reason he's my neighbor every time when I move. It makes yeah, no so sense. He's my neighbor. Every it's like you guys time. are polar magnets, and you know you just keep on pulling. Yeah, just together. like just like you said, I were a sim. The dinner, the dinner special that we they yeah, need yeah, to make. Yeah, you got like the <laughs> <ass> <laughs> <of> the <laughs> Did you say yeah, he said we should be on fucking Jerry Springer? Yes, I did say the Springer show. Yes. <laughs> Shit, if you pay, I'll go. Yeah, if you, if you pay, I'll go. <laughs> I think actually Jerry pays and you both can go. Um, oh, shit. Like I said earlier, R.I.P. Jerry. Yeah, R.I.P. Yep, R.I.P. That's the man. Hey, Steve does this show now, I think, so. Steve Macklin? Wilco's? No, the the security guard is Steve. I don't remember his last name. Uh, I think that was Wilco's. But... I, I, I know a Steve Macklin. Um, Steve anyways, Macklin. <laughs> uh, do me a favor and stay here on your property lines over here, you know what I mean? So. There's not if, he much, stays maybe, on his, if he stays on his property, I'll be fine. As long as he ain't throwing no baseballs, revving his shit, playing his stupid that, guitar, getting that's drunk, whatever. Fine. I don't, I don't got know, a guitar. You burned that shit in my last house. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Easy. Calm down. Let me give you a couple ideas. Calm your shit. Let me, you guys need to like maybe invest in like a ring camera for the outside so we could uh, maybe nope. check the cameras next time. Maybe it's a little nope. safer for both of you to have a camera nope. on the outside of your trailers so we could look. Uh, Mr. Davis, uh, hey, Mr. Long, dude. freedom of speech. Long, we don't need to do that. Freedom of speech. I ain't doing anything wrong. Right, right, calm, calm, calm down. Calm down. It's Listen, just a finger. Nobody's gonna get tased if you gotta keep up. Don't quit. Yeah. Uh, I just got my finger up. Finger I'm not doing anything wrong. I just got my finger up. Mr. Long, we're putting that. Yeah, we please. Asking you. All right. Thank you, sir. We're here in the interest of the both of you. Just because you asked, I'll do it. So maybe you guys want to invest in like a ring camera or something for the doorbell or something. So you look well, I don't think this guy could afford one. I heard his tow business has got burnt down. He ruined his yeah, life. Yeah, by you, motherfucker. Nah, I didn't burn it down. Yeah, all right, okay. gentlemen. We don't have all day and we get paid by the hours. <laughs> Everybody good now? Yeah, how much How much to pay you to take this little prick to jail just, just to get him out of my hair? I can't do that, sir. So. Well, you trying to uh, bribe an officer? You. You're trying, I can't do that either. You're, you're trying to bribe an officer? That's against the law. All right, Miss, Mr. Davis, Mr. Long, please, please, calm down. I'm just going to go work on my car. I don't want to deal right, with this motherfucker. Good, Mr. Long, thank you. Get your ass back over. All right, Mr. Davis, you have a fantastic day. If you guys need us, you know the call us. If you got something to say, say it to my face. What? If you, what? Got, if you got something Long? to say, no, don't, don't, don't say it behind the officer. Come say it to my face. What did you say? I, t I told the I told him over there if he's got a problem he's got something to say say it to my face yeah, don't say it as I walk away you no you're the one that said problem, something yeah I'm gonna walk away you say something come say it to my face hey, go fuck yeah see you said something say it to my fucking face if you're gonna say it yeah go fuck yourself hey back up little back up gentlemen fuck you gentlemen whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. fuck whoa, you back up what back you gonna up? do what you gonna Step do what you gonna do what you gonna do you wanna dance oh stop. <laughs> don't, move, don't, move. don't move. Stop. Stop walking. All right, all right. I'm, I'm sorry, Manny. You just got me frustrated. Yeah, I understand that, but we can't be punching each other, all right? I know. I'm good. Sit tight. I'm good. Okay, I'm going to put my taser away. But you start something up again, you're going to ride the light. He's man. the one talking to shit. I just wanted to leave. He got the over in his me, mouth, okay. man. All right. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. Here. <laughs> He's the one talking shit. Talk to Definitely my okay, best friend now, piece of shit. I'm doing all right. It's just he kept on talking to stuff, man. He got I me got frustrated. I, I didn't mean to. You still got your taser prongs in you? Yeah, it's on my shoulder, man. Okay. All right, I'll get you here in a minute. I'll pu I'll pull them out if you give me consent. Yeah, you can pull them out. Okay. All right. Let me go get my med bag out of my, my vehicle. Rest his ass. I'll grab it. Yeah, you gonna grab it for me? Thank you. <laughs> I 
I mean, technically, I probably ain't gonna go to jail. I'm just gonna get a ticket. Because all I did is hit you once. He said, you want me to press 30? Or you want to press 30? I was like, hell yeah, yeah press the that. Ass. So, uh, he wants to press charges. He wants to press assault charges on him. That's fucked up, man. He's the one talking all that shit. Yeah, he can talk shit, but you can't touch. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's fucked up. See, now he's over there taunting. He's, he's touching his, you know, his no-no special spots. No, it looked like he was doing drugs. Yeah, that could possibly be... Ah, uh, go ask him. It, yeah. Alright, my man, I'm about to yank you here. You know, step close to me. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to take and uh, on the count of three, I'm going to yank one prong out, okay? It's going to hurt. A All right, man. Bit. All right, man. All right. Ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, 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 shit. Fuck. Ah, that fucking hurt. There's one. Oh, no. Not Ready again. Number two. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing it yet. I'm just making sure. If you need a moment, tell me. I'll, huh. I'll give you a moment. <laughs> I was looking for the, like the jerk off. You must have got him real good. Them taser prongs really hurting him. Well, I imagine they are. That was pretty <laughs> close when I shot him. Yeah, it is pretty close. Uh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. Uh, uh, fuck. It shit hurts. All right, I'm gonna go put these in my truck. Fuck you, dude. See, now he's flicking me off. Yes, we understand. He's causing all these problems, yet you guys are going <laughs> to send me to jail, and he's going to get scrapped. You hit him, so. Well, yeah, he would have you know, quit talking to shit, man. I understand that. I would have walked away, and he probably would have came and knocked me out, because in Wisconsin, the cops left, and he came and knocked me out. So I was just trying to tell him, I'm tired of your shit. I, and I, see, I, now he's over there clapping. All right. So, um, Grove, you want to put him in the back of the car and tell Mr. Yep. Davis? Uh, sure go. Can. Go. All right, buddy. Turn around for me. All right. Hey, All right, I'm gonna put you in the back of my car. You got anything on me? It's gonna on your pants? Gonna poke me, stick me, stab me? No, just my ID, man. Don't worry, I'm gonna be searching you. If you don't tell me and you have something on you, it's national charge. All right. <laughs> got some food and water on you. Yes. Real Jesus. Ooh, sounds good. Oh God. Yeah, careful. Reason yeah, why I hit you because I knew that it was a he said she yeah. said and I wanted us to go to jail. You <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, just hang on to that for now. Oh, my truck like. All right, get on this out. Yes, sir. No worry. Yeah, because they came up to me and basically said they weren't gonna do nothing and they were gonna leave. So I'm like, you know what? You kept on talking to shit. I was like, I might as well just hit you. Yeah. Talk to the back and put a tarp over it. What you should do is you should show up in my car. 601 times one basal station. And then that way when they see you show up in my car. I'm waiting for that cop to leave. And yep. Alright. Enter. Uh, let's see if this motherfucker left the keys in this car. Take this as a lesson, man. Next time, just don't touch, okay? I know he says things, but it's like the old saying, six oh, stones may hurt my, break my bones, but words can't oh, hurt. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. I know, man. man. So. Ooh, this bad boy is fast. <laughs> yep, that's why I chose it. You comfortable back there? I got the air on. Yeah, I'm good. Don't worry. We're almost there. Just hang tight.
Yeah, it's a station. Almost. I didn't know I had low jack in my car. In what? I said, right. I said if you show up, you don't know that I got low jack in my car. They're going to see you every okay. place you went with my car, but that's if they find you. All right, man. All right, come on. A low jack? What? Yeah. I got a low jack in my car, basically. Uh, if, like, my car was stolen, I could say my car. You want them sales, Mason? I could say my car sure. was stolen, and they could basically. So, there you go. They could basically uh, s uh, locate where the hey, car has been in there? throughout the hey, day. Oh, low jack. Said right, let me see if uh, Judge is in. Had a call, low judge jack. How, how are you going to call if you're you're, you're, you're currently in handcuffed? They, they called my phone, but I can't press yes or no. And my phone's at my house. So I can't hit yes or no. So basically, basically, what low jack is, is is if you're if you got a car that you're paying payments for, they'll have low jack in there. So if you miss a payment, they could literally hit a button, they could shut off your car, or they could find out where your car is uh, uh, using their computer, and they could track it and trace it. That's why when my mom used to have cars all the time and she See was on girl? drugs and shit, they would yeah. literally just low jack See the that? car, find it, and then the next day uh, wake up the safe. car be gone. That's because they got a tow truck and they got it out of there because they low jacked and found out where it was. But I can't hit yes or no, so 911 is going to be, but you don't know that. So you're just going to show up and do your interview, but if they happen to see you in that green car, then they might know. Uh, you talking about the one the one above uh, Jimmy Long? Like, yeah, I think it's only fair that no, since he fucked up my fucking windshield, I could just at least drive his car Judge down. Judge is coming. You, 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 you should tell him when you get down here, you should be a dick about it. I'm like, yeah, I took his fucking car down here. My fucking oh, truck wasn't working. okay. They'd be like, what about your motorcycle? <laughs> like, I didn't want to bring that down here. I didn't want to get stolen. Oh, somebody's, uh, I got you. Yeah, it's too nice. You want me to go check it out, or you want me to get a unit to go check it out? Um... You Are you in the, uh, I'm station a, uh, I, I'm in the, I'm in the cells, but the, the owner and the other guy that was at the scene with us are talking to each other. They, they, they said something about they need to go check something out. I don't know, or they, they want to... Uh, yeah. up there. Oh, no, they were, they were looking for you. They thought yeah, you weren't going to show up. Uh, I'm here. All right. I'm like at the front. I think his buddy's up front. Let me go see. That's not my buddy. Go talk to the judge. They said that we're. Oh, I'm talking to a judge. Uh. You want the. You want. Here's the judge. It's upstairs. Oh, there he is. Hey, judge, you want to go upstairs? You want to sit down here? We go upstairs to your office. I'm literally right. about to talk to a judge. He's wearing a judge the, uh, outfit and everything. Up as well or not? Bro, this is dope. And I'm going to uh, a courtroom. One side at one time. Gotcha. I'm, the way oh, I'm going are. into the judge's office. Thanks, judge. <laughs> this is dope. All right. So this guy, his name is Jimmy Long. Mr. Long lives next to Mr. Davis. And they keep on having these little quarrels. Um, so we got a 911 call out there for a baseball being thrown through Mr. Davis's windshield. We went out there to investigate it. Tried to run the prints on it and nothing came back. Um, so Mr. Long and Mr. Davis have a long history together of kind of like a Hatfield McCoy situation. It's a Hatfield McCoy uh, situation. Oh my Coming god, out I heard that. Like each other. Uh, Mr. Long here. And Mr. Davis got them both together, let them know that they're going to have to coincide with each other, maybe invest in some uh, outside cameras, maybe for future references, keep their property safe. Uh, Mr. Long and Mr. Davis had some words. We'd rather break them up. They, everything got heated. Mr. Davis uh, provoked Mr. Long. Mr. Long then hit Mr. Davis. We arrest Mr. Long because he assault of Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis wanted to press charges. Mr. Davis is on the way down to give a full report and a statement. Yeah, when you come down, you should say, yeah, I had to come down here with my neighbor's right, car because he fucking ruined mine. 
<laughs> Anything like to add to it? The only thing I can say, man, is he tried breaking his car. Oh, someone's shooting. Oh, I, I, I don't don't mind that. That's none of our business. But yeah, like he was uh he was causing problems. First he showed up. I didn't know he was my new neighbor, but he showed up. He was revving his engine, doing burnouts. He almost hit his trailer, but it was none of my business, so I just left it alone. I didn't know who that guy was, and then all of a sudden, like. He comes over and starts causing problems with me, so I call the cops on him. The cops come, and then they couldn't do nothing about it, so they left. He came back. Well, when I was talking to the cops, he left, so that means he was doing something suspicious. Then he left because he knew I was snitching on him because he knew that he did something wrong. And then he came back, started talking more shit when he came back. And I said, I'm calling the cops, man. And I called the cops. The cops came again, and he kept on talking more crap. So I just hit him one time. I didn't mean to. He's just get me frustrated. Wouldn't shut up. And the cops told him to be quiet. And he wouldn't be quiet. And I kept on walking away. And he could just kept on opening his mouth. So I told him to say something. And he, he said it to my face. And I just, I just hit him one time out of frustration. I was I was frustrated. And I just was going to walk away and leave. But then he went to press charges. We're here. So, I mean... I, I, I'm sorry about what I did. It's just he, he frustrating, man. He's been following me everywhere I live. It makes no sense. Every new house I move to, he's my neighbor. All right, Mr. Long, are you on parole or anything? That I need to nope, realize? I am not on parole or nothing. If anything, right. he should be on parole because I know in Wisconsin, when he, I lived out there, he got nice. arrested and he basically was drunk driving, got his license taken Don't away, and he was a felon. Well, Mr. Long, if we could leave the policing. These gentlemen right here. You think you can coincide and try to leave it up to them for the, you know, if any kind of altercation comes again? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to do it no altercations again. I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I just didn't know he was gonna be my neighbor. I'm, I'm gonna try this time. I'm gonna try to move and make sure he's not my neighbor. I'm gonna try to find a house where there's no houses next to each other. Well, since this is the first time you appearing before before me I think we're gonna go ahead and just give you an hour of community service and uh, yeah I'll definitely I do that a little anger management class for you yeah I definitely and need you one free to go on your own reconnaissance I appreciate that so man I'm right before me then we'll have to readdress this no I don't I definitely do not want to come back before you all right sir I'm getting Thanks, let judge. go free. Uh, Groves, you want to go mm -hmm. out the front door, Mr. Davis here to close. The judge says this is yep. my first time being I'll in court, so long out the back um, door so they don't have to see each other. Judge, you might want to hang around. He might be willing to follow. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think someone stole your car. That's fine. I, I one right. me. <laughs> well, you, you could say Whoa. you you could say you drove my car up here and then and then you and then you you gave it to someone to be a dick. You, if they ask you, like, yeah, I, I'm like, yeah, sorry it took me too long. I had to get my neighbor's car to get started, and then someone wanted to buy it, so I sold it to him. Uh, there we go, thanks. Have a good day, Mr. Long. All right, I'm sorry about the call. You're good about it. <laughs> So yeah, they're gonna talk to, you, but just say that you took my car here to be a dick, and then you sold it to someone. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck.
That was nice. What? I'm getting my restraining order, but that was nice. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, almost got hit. Yeah, the judge had told me, he said, come here. Hold on. Hold on. What's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, can I get a ride? To where? Uh, to the 68 on the, 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 uh, uh, the repair shop. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it, man. Uh, my restraining order on you. <laughs> they said you can't come within like 500 feet. Uh, they said they were gonna come and talk to you. Goddamn people blocking. I don't know. Did they release you? Yep, I'm gone. I'm in a I'm in a civ car. He's taking me away. I'm gone. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm gone. Yeah, I I recently got caught by the fucking cops getting trumped up by my neighbor, and they took my fucking car away, man. That interaction was pretty cool. Yeah. So they let me go because it was BS, and then all of a sudden I leave, and then I told the cop, I was like, someone stole my car, and he said, yep, your car is gone, and they did nothing about it, so I told him to F off, and I walked away. Them cops can never do anything, right? Exactly. But I appreciate the ride. Yeah. All right. Have a good one, man. You too. Here, you, you, want to, you want my number if you need me? I don't got a phone on me. Alright. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah. I'm gonna take this all the way home. my mom's car for a while. Are you at the uh, trailer already? Yep. I'm down the street. How'd you get to the... Or are you at the trailer already? Or no? I'm about to pull up. Oh. I got dropped off somewhere else. I'm definitely not going there. Is that you in the blue car? Yeah. Later that same evening. Fuck out of here. Yep, that car is, that, that house is gone. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there you have it. Jimmy Long and some bullshit that just 
took place, what's going to happen in the next Neighbors Dispute video. It comes out between me and Gene Davis. We'll find out in the next video. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Had some fun interacting with that judge and whatnot. And the server admin who says that we do the best RP out of everyone in here. And we always get compliments no matter where we go. Because that is because Mickey Rose Day 95 and Goddammit Danny are two people that really care about their RP. And we try to give the best. But as I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Later.